Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. Rusty Rasmus has officially announced his squad that will face Ireland as well as Portugal in the incoming series um, which will take place start next weekend with a two-match series against um, Ireland before a single fixture. And the first ever time we will play against Portugal and a very, very interesting squad. Some big news in the returns of Billy LaRue, Kirk Lawrence, uh, as well as um, Malcolm Staden. Uh, Call-ups for Jan Hendrik Bessel and Johan Kravola, as well as uh, a standby list, which features basically players in inverted commas being dropped in the forms of a Suku, Jordan Henderson, for example, uh, Ulrich Lowe, called into the uh, standby list, as well as Vilko Lowe, but not in the uh, squad itself, um, and recalls as well for Lekanyo Um and Jason Colby, who have been declared fit for the Island Series. Before we break down the squad, look at exactly who's who. Please do smash a like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Let's start with the forwards, shall we? Um, Rusty Erasmus naming 39 players in the squad, 21 forwards. Um, so that is the list. The big news for me as well is uh, Thomas de Toy back in the setup. And that is a really, really hard-earned um, call-up from him. He was left out of the World Cup. Probably very, very disappointed to do that, seeing as he was part of of the Springbok setup over the last sort of four to five years. Um, he then went to the Premiership and he had an absolute stormer of a season. Um, it was fantastic for Bath. One of the big reasons they got into that final was arguably a player of the year. Um, him and Finn Russell completely changed that outfit. And, um, you know, I think if, if you look at the sort of impacts a prop can have, I don't think there's been too many impacts a, a prop's had more so than um, Thomas Toy. So good to see him back in the squad. Uh, surprise inclusion with Pips Boot Lazy. I'm almost a bit surprised that he has stayed in the squad given the fact that they have... Adam Marco but starting as well as Sia Khaleesi to the squad itself. Um, and Johan Kravalak getting the call up. Um, it was going to be interesting to see what was going to happen with the hookers because there obviously is also Hunter Hugo Fenter as well as Joseph Dweber. They have dropped down to the standby list. And a surprise call up for Jan Hendrik Vessels, who has not had much game time for the Bulls uh, this season. Um, he's an interesting player because he's highly rated um, by Rusty Jaspers. And once again, it's that utility part of his game, um, which is really... Um, sets him apart because he can play at hooker as well as at uh, at loose end prop. Uh, so that's an interesting one. I think that probably one people not too uh, uh, or a little bit surprised to potentially see. He's always been highly rated, the 23 year old. Um, has played just 362 minutes this season for the Bulls, where he started um, four games and primarily been playing as hooker as well. Um, look at the rest of that squad. They're pretty um, straightforward. Uh, see at least he comes back into it. Salman Murat is retained as he as expected given the injuries to. Um, Lourdes Diaga. Um, you've also got um, Yasbisa, who becomes available now in that squad. And uh, Yasbisa included, despite the fact that he won't face Ireland because of that um, that ban. No, Cameron Honeycomb, he is injured. So when uh, Theory wasn't available for selection, it'd be interesting to see if he comes into the selection frame come the rugby championship. And apart from that, it's the usual suspects. It's your World Cup winners, really. Trevor Yukane back in the squad. Good to see as well. Um, I think, you know, with, with, with by adding him, you now got him and Thomas Toy. You can both play at loose head and tight head. You've got tight head options at in uh, um, Vincent Koch as well as Francois Herber and loose head options in Rox, uh, Oxen Chair as well as Jan Hendrik Vessel. So some nice sort of depth when it comes to our props over there. These are the backline players. The big news over there is Lekanya Um is declared fit and makes it into the squad. Uh, the two-time World Cup winner was apparently injured. Well, we knew it was injured from the Sharks. We didn't know if that was keeping him out of the squad for the box. But he has been recalled. Has as Kurt Lawrence uh, and Vili LaRue. Some nice big news for Alliance fans is that both Morty Vandenberg and Edel van der Merwe have been retained. Although there is an injury to Edel van der Merwe. We'll talk about the injuries in just a second. Um, other news is that um, Tash Feinberg Gomez Zulu has been retained in the list as well. Uh, which is good to see. Money Liebach being retained as well uh, in the list as well. Kubus Rain, Kubus Rain coming into it. Um, so uh, good to see that uh, that that he's back in the mix. Apelio Fassi, after impressing, has also been um, included in the list. So getting a reward for the form that he showed and the, and the game that he did have against Wales. So I don't think there's too many surprises, to be honest, uh, over there. Maybe for me, the fact that uh, Money Vandenberg is retained uh, maybe could be considered a little bit of a surprise. Uh, I expected to see Sasha Farmer Gomez do the ten, given the lack of uh, fullback options. Um, and also very good to see that, that Chesney Colby is fit and will face um, the, the uh, island next weekend, hopefully. Uh, so in terms of the big news for uh, the injuries on the injury front, Rusty Rasmus has confirmed that there are a couple of injuries. Um, so players that are not available officially are uh, Stephen Kitsoff, Jean-Claire, Lourdes Cameron Honeycomb has been listed 
as an official injury. Um, Jaden Hendricks, uh, Henkel van Veig, Kane Moody, and Damien Willems as well. All players on the radar and but have not been considered. And um, the current injuries that are in the squad and retaining the squad are Faf de Klerk, um, Edel van der Merwe, and Max Zorna Pimpi, who apparently all picked up niggles against France. But uh, he's satisfied that he's got enough cover with the likes of Arendt, Colby, and um all in there. And obviously, we've got plenty of scrap half options. So then the big news is who are the ones that lose out? Well, these is your list. Oh, this is your list of uh, standby players. Yeah, Jean-Luc Dupree still involved um, on standby. Joseph Dweber, Nathalie Bashir over there. Um, Pilo Gemeli drops into the standby list. Albert Lowe, Vilko Lowe, as mentioned, called up. Uh, a lot of people calling for Vilko Lowe to be included in the box squad. But uh, I don't think he was ever going to usurp uh, Trevor Nukani. And I think Thomas Atoy has also been so good that I think he was always going to get that recall. Instant Excluder drops down. Even when Hayden gets included, we haven't seen him in and around the mix. But uh, good. I think he's deserved that. As well as Andre Hugo Fenter. You've then got uh, Slayman Hartenberg uh, in, the, in the call up list as well. Uh, in terms of players who use it back into sort of the mix there. Jordan Hendricks and Sia Masuku, the two fly halves dropping down into it. As well as Ethan Hooker and Kern Horn. I don't think there's too many surprises. I think for me, probably Jan Hendrik versus Jan Klobber are the potential surprises. Um, I would have liked to have seen um, Kuhn Horn retained. I think he's got a lot to offer, to be honest. I'd love to have seen him play against Portugal, but uh, he will yet be involved as we go. Uh, but it's an interesting squad. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.